from the Fox 10 Gulfstream, this is Next Weather. We had the rain around, but not much in the way of severe weather this week, but that could change Friday. Meteorologist Michael White joins us with a look at the ingredients that might come together for severe weather. Michael. Hey, Jason. Yeah, we've made it through the last couple of days without any major severe weather problems. Even though it's been gloomy, we've had rain. Um, you know, Monday night, it poured almost the entire night. We get, did get some much needed rain. We've been needing that for the fire danger. But the question is, do we get a severe weather threat? March and April are the core of the spring tornado season. And so far, we've been OK. But Friday, that could change. Friday, we have what's known as a day four severe weather risk zone issued. Uh, day one is considered considered today. So if day one is Tuesday, day two, Wednesday, Thursday, day three, day four is Friday. So there's only two real risk zones, a yellow and an orange. Uh, you have probabilities of 15 to 29 percent and then 30 or above. But don't let the percentages really fool you, because if you look close at that box, this is probability of severe weather within 25 miles of a given point. And if you think of any point on the map and think about 25 miles away from that point, that percentage ends up being pretty decent. So if there's a severe weather risk zone that far out, we always have to pay attention to it. Uh, this is off the NAM model, the North American Mesoscale, 3 in the afternoon Friday. There's no instability here. These colors, these blues and greens, represent unstable air, which you need for a severe weather risk, and there's none to be had. Now, we might see some move in on Friday night or in the pre-dawn hours of Saturday. That is a possibility. We also know the model trends can change as we get closer to Friday, but uh, this may be a, a, an iffy severe weather threat, uh, which will take. We certainly don't want something that looks like it's going to be extremely problematic, but uh, it'll definitely be a be on your toes kind of day. But we do see a big drop in temperature headed our way on Sunday and early next week and another one mid to late month. This is off the GFS Ensemble. These are raw models, uh, uh, temperature uh, temperature guidance off the GFS models. So th these numbers aren't exactly what we're going to go with in our forecast on Fox 10, but it gives you a look at what the trends are going to be possibly for the remainder of the month. Dips in temperature, yes. Signs of another freeze, no, uh, and it looks like we, you know, we may still get through the rest of uh, March without a late season freeze, but we do know that can change, and it's something we'll be watching for carefully. One thing you need to keep in mind, mark on your calendars, go ahead and do it now, is what's coming up in a couple of weeks. Not this Saturday, but next Saturday, Saturday the 16th. Uh, at uh, 10 to 2 at the grounds in Westmobile, it's going to be Touch a Truck. And this is on the Rappahope.org website. The reason why we're promoting this is because the Fox 10 Storm Tracker vehicle is going to be there. And the kids had so much fun touching this thing last year. It's going to be there again this year. And it's so fun getting to see the looks on the kids' faces, seeing all the weather equipment. The admission is $20 per vehicle at the event. So you got to have cash on hand. No online tickets available. And we'll be talking a lot more about it as we get closer toward uh, a week from Saturday. And then I think the Saturday after that, we have a Cajun cook-off. So a lot of activities going on where the uh, Fox 10 Storm Tracker team will be involved. I'll be on Good Day Gulf Coast tomorrow. We should finally have a dry day, which is going to be nice. Uh, but we will be keeping our eye on the severe weather threat potential for Friday. Jason's going to talk more about it on Fox 10 News at 9. And I'll have more updates bright and early first thing tomorrow morning. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Jason. All right, well, springtime warmth is here, and will we get one last little taste of winter? A lot of times that happens. Meteorologist Matt Barentine breaks down the possibilities, Matt. Well, we haven't had a whole lot of cold weather in the last couple weeks. In fact, the last freeze that we had was on February 19th, and it may end up being our very last one of the season. You can see the average would be March 1st, so that would be a very early last freeze, and you compare it to the last several years, it would be the earliest in the last five years. Now let's take a look at the long range forecast and folks, I just don't see it in the next 10 days. This will take us pretty deep into March about halfway through with no real chance at seeing another freeze. In fact, I don't think we drop much below the mid 40s and I've been keeping an eye on even longer range models for two weeks and beyond. 
and I just don't see another freeze happening. So if that ends up being the last freeze here on the February 19th, it won't be the earliest ever. In fact, the earliest back in this winter of 1906, 1907, there wasn't even a freeze after the new year there of 1907. They had the last one on Christmas morning of that season. Now the latest, this does give us the, some pause that it could possibly still happen. We've had a freeze as late as April 5th that happened back in 1987. That would be beyond uh, Easter this year, which will be on March 31st. So we'll have to kind of wait and see. But for now, it looks like we may have already seen our last freeze as we continue to move into spring like temperatures in Mobile. Matt Barentine, Fox 10 News. All right, here's that seven day forecast and like Matt said, no freezes coming anytime soon. We do see some rain showers and storms on Friday and Friday evening. Looks like some morning rain on Saturday, then we clear off. It turns a little cooler next week. We can still have some cool nights even if we don't see a freeze and that'll happen by the weekend and the first next week. Thanks for joining us here for next weather.